This one's gonna be on Scrout. It is a command line screenshot taking program. Uh, the reason why I like this one over the other ones is that this one can actually do uh, transparency. It can actually take a picture of, of transparency, I mean. Uh, some of the other ones, if you try to do that, uh, whenever it sees transparency, it's just gonna be black, and that's why I don't like the other ones. So Scrout is the one you wanna use, okay. Uh, real easy, you know, you just type in Scrout here, and uh, push enter. And that's how it takes the screenshot, All right? So if we have uh, let's have our files here. We can do feth or image viewer, and we do PNG. If I spell it right, there you go. And that's the screenshot we just took, right? And it has you know transparency of my terminal, uh, no issues here. It's not black or anything. Uh, other things you do with it. That one was too fast, so if you want to delay it, you can always do scroll. Uh, dash D and we'll delay it by uh, three seconds or something so we have time to close our terminal so one two and three there you go it takes a screenshot here and we'll open with Feth again our newest file and there you go this is um, a screenshot of our desktop we just took right now if you want to take a screenshot of a a specific uh, window not full screen, then you can always do uh let's open up our uh, calculator or something here. And let's say we want to take a screenshot of just this program only, right? Not nothing else. So to do that, um, well there's an issue here if you're using like a, a drop down terminal. If we try to do delay by three seconds, so we have time to close our terminal and we do a dash S for a selected area. Uh, it's not gonna work because if I try to get out of my terminal here you see it will just say all oh, these garbage so the way to get around this um, instead of using the delay within Scrout uh, options we're gonna use the sleep command before this okay so let's see here we'll do sleep uh, two seconds and then we're gonna execute Scrout uh, I want to use the dash s for a selected area so you just hit enter and now you can actually you know close your terminal there or like hide it I mean and two seconds has passed already now all you gotta do with your mouse here is just click on the window that you want to take a picture of so if I want to click on this one there you go now I say I take a picture of that so if I can do fifth use file and you can see that this is a picture of a calculator we just took all right now by default or no, yeah, I guess by default. It doesn't take uh, the screenshot of the borders. So right now you don't see the difference here, but let me explain this here. It's supposed to have a picture of, um, it's supposed to be like this, where it has the minimize, you know, maximize and close button here. But you can see from the picture that it doesn't have that, okay? So to do it again, this time I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do uh, a dash B for borders also. Okay, so one, two, and then we go here, we click on the window that we want, click, and now we'll open the news file again, and you see that now it has the borders uh, like it's supposed to, okay, so it has the close, minimize, maximize button, uh, so that's it for that. Now, that one is for a specific, uh, you know, program. Uh, it'll take the you know the dimensions of this program and I'll take a screenshot of it if you want to do like a freestyle kind of thing where you just uh, draw a rectangular or square or whatever like let's say I want to draw you know something like that with a highlighting kind of thing you can do that too right so we'll do this again we don't need the, the border crap so we'll do the same thing but instead of clicking on the program that we want um, we can just like highlight it. So let's say if I want to highlight this right now, and there we go. We just highlight it and let it go, and I take a screenshot of whatever we just highlighted or whatever. Uh, so let's open that again. Let's see here. So there you go. This is the, you know, picture we just uh, made a rectangular box for. Uh, so that's the three ways: full screen, you know, a specific window, and also our freestyle kind of way. Uh, to draw a picture.
Okay. And they do have some other options in here. Let me see here. Um, there we go, this one. I'm not sure if you really want to use some of the other ones. Like, you can do count if you want. So, let's say, for example, scroll out. What is this here? We do dash C for count. So, we just count down, you know, from uh, whatever delay that you have. So, it'll count down 3, 2, 1. If you want to change the quality of it. What was that? Uh, quality. So by default, the quality is 75% here, which is fine. But if you want to change that, you can do an dash Q. And we'll say 100%, right? And three seconds to take a screenshot here. So just uh, play around with the quality. Uh, well, it depends if you want to save space or not, right? So you see that the quality here, if you have it at 100%, is uh, about five megs, or depending on your resolution and, and uh, you know the graphics on um, on display or something like that so you know just be aware of the size if you want to save space or whatever then uh, lower the quality uh, otherwise we don't give a fuck then uh, just put a hundred percent and you have the highest quality possible okay now if you want to like um, give it a specific name because right now you know it goes by date and, and resolution and all that right like this one to give you the date and the, I guess the time and all that and even the resolution of it uh, if you want to like give it your own name all you gotta do is type in um, what do we do for example okay let's say for example we do uh, that and we'll give it a name like uh, uh, I don't know YouTube or something dot PNG you can actually do uh, JPEGs too I believe so let's just do this one first so wait three seconds one two and three right and this one was called uh, YouTube whatever so we do YouTube open that sucker and there you go so you can give it a name if you want if you uh, just type in the name that you want otherwise let's say we do um, my desktop dot JPEG let's say we do JPEGs I think it supports this too oops that's not the wrong my bad yeah, we'll call this one uh, my desktop dot jpeg. And there we go. Um, so it works with uh, PNG and JPEGs, no issues. Right, if I do JPG here. Right. So whatever um, extensions that you want, that's that's fine. Um, I don't think they support any other ones, just uh, JPEGs and... and um, you know PNGs only. Uh, I do actually have what is that um, functions for this. So my function this is called picks, or the other one's called window area. And this one's real convenient because uh, I put it into my um, screenshot folder, and I, I don't have to type out you know all the extra arguments. So that's why I recommend for people if you want to use this is create a function and uh, have a specific window I mean not a specific a window a specific folder that you want all your screenshots to go to uh, I usually put in my screenshot uh, folder here right and these are all my screenshots that I uh, would take and so let me give you an example how this works here it's pretty much everything I explained to you but it's in a uh, you know function so if I hit picks here all right this one will take full screen shots here. So it takes a full screen here and I just go to my screenshot folder and I just type them in Feth and I say the newest file and there you go. This is the newest file that I just took uh, with that. If I do um, picks win area, right? I wait for like, uh, I think two seconds and I click on the window that I want. So I click on this window and there we go. Now let's do that again open the image and there you go this is the image that they just took uh, if I want to do a uh, the same thing but draw the window I want so one two and uh, draw it now so I want to draw this portion there we go just drew that sucker and there you go this is the portion we just drew right so there we go that's how I would do that um, 
So I'll post all this, you know, my functions and everything we covered in uh, the description below. If you missed it, you can just rewatch it. But Scrawl should be in the repositories if you want to take screenshots from the command line. Really convenient. Um, so that'll be it for this one.